seven with a standard deviation of seventeen point five seven eight. And least farm area in Kotta in average is nineteen point six two five with a standard deviation. Anju, yes, don't sir. read each and everything. You know, only yes, spell out the striking features. Okay, sir. Almost all uh, all respondent uh, use Indian hybrid shears. Major occupation and membership of cooperative eighty six point seven percent respondents have major occupation of farming and remaining farming and others and forty seven point eight percent of of the respondents uh, are member of cooperative while remaining are not member of cooperative. Here is the per capita production and return from maize. Production in average 1.53 quintal per quarter. Price per quintal is estimated to be rupees 2727.57 in average. Total variable cost is estimated to be rupees 2892.67. Gross return is calculated to be rupees 4216.55. And gross margin was calculated by using formula gross return minus total variable cost, and it is found to be rupees 1323. And benefit cost ratio was calculated and it is found to be 1.46. Here is the average cost for variables per quota, and it is also shown in pie chart. And we can see that seed cost is uh, in high percentage, 18.7%, followed by labor cost, 17.9%, and followed by field preparation cost, 12.1%, and other, uh, other remain in below 10%. Asking farmers about mechanization role in production of maize. Uh, majority of the farmers told that mechanization has role in increasing production and decreasing cost. 26.5% of the farmer told that it has role only in decreasing cost, and 16.7% farmer told that it has role in increasing production, while 13.3% of the farmer thinks that mechanization has nothing role in production of maize. These uh, factors responsible to produce maize. Majority of the farmers, 56.7% of the respondents are growing maize because it gives a good return. 35.6% of the farmers are growing maize because of neighbor influence. 4.4% are growing maize because of land and climate suitability. And don't, don't read everything. Simply say what is the striking feature in that table. Okay, Otherwise, sir. you will not finish in time. Okay, sir. Easy access to irrigation, fertilizer, and extension services. So in all these uh, three things, uh, the farmers told that they have no easy access to irrigation, fertilizer, and extension service. Yeah, access to institutional credit and subsidy. 68.9% of farmers uh, do not have access to institutional credit, and 82.2% of the farmers do not have access to subsidy. Here is the ranking of production constraints. Production constraints are categorized into six groups, and it is found uh, that low availability of fertilizer rank in one as a, as a reference of index value, which is followed by lack of irrigation facility in second, and uh, in third, disease pest, in fourth, uh, unavailability of quality seed, fifth, lack of proper training, and lastly, mechanization problem. Marketing constraints is also categorized into four groups, and uh, Low seasonal price came in first rank uh, as represented by index value, followed by lack of market information, followed by storage problem, and uh, other factors in fourth rank. Conclusion, production of maize is about 1.53 quintal per quarter in Sarlai district. According to more 2022, average maize production is 1.1 quintal per quarter. Hence, the support areas under PMP are suitable for maize production. Hybrid maize is dominating maize production in the district. Production of maize is sold almost entirely to food industries rather than human consumption. Sarlai being border district to India, farmers depend on Indian seed fertilizers rather than Nepali seeds and fertilizer. Seed cost is more among all variable costs. So subsidizing seeds in these areas can increase profit of farmers. BC ratio is greater than one, that's 1.46 so production is in profit. Low variability of fertilizer is major production constraints. Low seasonal price of maize is major marketing constraints. And here are the recommendations. For better production of maize, subsidizing seeds to the farmers is recommended. Easy access to fertilizers and irrigation facilities for farmers is recommended to ensure higher profit. Government agencies will take active role for establishing proper procurement, storage, distribution, and selling of product in the district. Storage facilities will be improved for minimizing marketing issues. And for further research, such as estimation of its variable cost effect with output is recommended.
Acknowledge me, yeah, that acknowledge me to my major supervisor, site supervisor, member supervisor, PMP majors are like, lead program, I feel all the respondents, members, and my friend. There are some glimpses of my hope. Thank you. Okay. Anju? Yes, sir. Show me your title. Okay, sir. Is it visible, sir? Uh, it is visible. And you read your title and think of the contents you have. It's status of mass production. It's status of mass production in terms of what? In in terms of quintal, you should have kept your title something like this: Maize productions in supply district and economic analysis. It would have included everything, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and then again, you know, uh, yes, sir. Being the undergraduate students, the effort you made is very good. But you must know, there are various tables that is of no use to your thesis, especially ethnicity, religion, education, everything, you know? Yes, sir. Have you made some link between, relation between all these things? No. No, sir. So, no. Then, what is the use of having those things? Okay? You are not going to... Do it, you know, as a thesis, something like this, a kind of, you know, lead report, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, I'm pleased from your conclusion, you know, conclusion you have nicely scaled out. But recommendation is too much. Okay. Okay, sir. Recommendation is too much, and you consult your um, advisory committee and Make sure all the things are in good position and make your manuscript readable, meaningful. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. So I'll consider it in okay, my report. Okay. Who is the next? Krishna Murari Pokhil. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, is my side visible, sir? It's all right. Go ahead. Namaste, Namaste and welcome. Respected external evaluator, my major supervisor, all the presenters of this session and, and audience. I am Krishna Murari Pokhrel from CNN Sinduli, formerly intern at P PMAMP PIU Major Sarlai. And during my internship period, I conducted a study on status of farm mechanization and factors affecting its adoption among maize farmers in Solai district, Nepal, under the guidance of my respected major advisor, Assistant Professor Suryamani Dungana. Further, my supervisory committee consists of major supervisor, Assistant Professor Suryamani no, Dungana. Don't, 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 don't read. It is visible. The outline of my report presentation consists of introduction, literature review, methods yeah, and yeah, methodology. Yeah, yeah, you are reading. Okay, sir. Introduction. Agriculture, oh. in, agriculture in Nepal. Agriculture is the backbone of Nepalese eco economy as agriculture sector con contributes. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, this sir. This introduction only already is given. You know, you go to your estate with a problem. It's a problem, sir. Yes. Okay. Statement of problems are as follows. Survey has suffered from stagnant and low mid productivity in comparison to other Tarai district and neighboring countries. In spite of suitable geography, low attraction of farmers towards modern machineries, high production costs due to use of human labor, and high wages mechanized seems to be contributed to commercial farmers only. Rational of the study, different research have been proved farm mechanization is crucial factor for increasing production productivity of different crops. Yes, sir. No scientific research has been done yet on adoption of mechanization in solar district, causing a wide research gap. 
This study will be a source of information to company stakeholder, policymaker, and PMAMP to design plan guidelines and policies. Objective of my study. General objective is to gain information on the status perception of farmers on farm mechanization and factors affecting the adoption. Specific objectives are to examine the respondents' socio-demographic factors and machinery use status in different farm operations, to identify the perception content regarding adoption of farm machinery, to identify the need-based farm implement of the study area. This starts so the this start give the information of literature review done for my study. Now I am moving to material and methodology section. The study site was Barakwa and Bagmati, which is shown on the map of Sarlai. The sampling method I use was multi-stage sampling, precisely three-stage sampling, in which in first stage two municipalities were purposely selected from 20 local bodies. In second stage, two, two wards from each municipalities were selected randomly. In the third stage, 15 of the registered farmers were selected from each ward. After all, the sample size for the study was 104. Two types of data was collected for the study. First, primary data, which was obtained through questionnaire survey, focal group discussion. Secondary data, which was obtained by reviewing different publications, report and research paper. For the analysis of data, first, data was collected, coded, and entered in MS Excel and analyzed using SPSS 25.2. Descriptive statistics was analyzed, such as frequency, mean, and standard deviation. Chi-square test was performed to find association between dependent and independent variables. Moreover, for the calculation of adaption index, the presented formula is used, and on the basis of adaption index value, respondents were categorized into into two categories, adapter and non, non adapter, based on their above average and below average adoption index value. For the ranking for the perception and content regarding adoption of farm machinery were done by using the following formula. Now we are in the result and discussion section. Let's see the information on socio demographic factors, which is shown in the figure one 68% of respondents were male and 32 were female. Majority of the respondents follow Hinduism as religion. Majority of the respondents belong to Brahmin and Chetri ethnicity. 56% of the family were nuclear type and 44% were joint type. In the figure two shows, majority of the respondents, that is 54%, had education of secondary level. In the figure three, the majority of the respondent major source of income was agriculture and livelihood that is 22%. Similarly, 44% of the respondent had experience in farming for more than 20 years. Similarly, figure 4 shows 54% of the respondent were member of agriculture related organization and 61% of respondent had not attended any sorts of training on maize cultivation or mechanization. Table one shows the land holding of, of land holding of respondent. The average land holding was 26.44 katha. And if the farmer holds more than average, then the farmer was considered large land holder. And if the farmer holds less than average, then the farmer was considered as a small holder. Table two shows the ranking on perception regarding adoption of farm machineries. Among various perceptions, the perception that farm machinery reduces. Dorjari was the rank first with the highest index value that is 0 0.932. Likewise, table three shows small farm holdings and fragmented land was the main barrier regarding farm masonry adoption with highest index value 0 0.842. <coughs> table four shows the land preparation was done fully by mechanical methods and fertilizer application, weeding and earthing up and harvesting were done fully manually in the study area. Table 5 shows the categorization of respondents into two categories. First, non adapter non adapters are those whose adoption index value was less than mean adoption value, that is 0 0.4431. And second, adapter adapters are those whose adoption index value was greater than 0 0.4431. Now, to find out the association or relationship between independent and dependent variable, chi-square test was done. The result of chi-square test is presented in the table below. 
table six shows education status of, of respondent had significant association with the adoption of different agricultural tools and equipment at a five percent level with p value of 0 0.034 Table 7 shows the family size had significant association with adoption category at 5% level with p value of 0 0.041. Likewise, land holding, training, and and organization membership had high significant association with adoption category at 1% level. In the same fashion, table 8 shows main income source had, size, had high significant association with category with, with adoption category at 1% level. Table 9 shows farming experience do have high significant association with adoption category at 1% level. Based on the FDG with progressive farmer, the, the three months needed farm implement to is farm uh, mesh farming and increase productivity instantly with pump set, mesh seed dryer, and seed drill. Discussion similar results were also found in the related re uh, research or research carried in. Nigeria found that factors affecting adoption of farm, farm um, mechanism. Go to conclusion. Yes, sir. Conclusion: thirty-eight point four six percent of the farmers were non-adapters, and sixty-one point five three of the of them were adapters. Mechanism reduced drudgery was the main perception regarding adoption of farm machinery. Small farm holding and fragmented land was the was the main barrier for the farm machinery adoption. Land preparation operation was conducted fully mechanically, whereas fertilization application, weeding and, earth, and harvesting was conducted fully manually. Major income source experience in the farmer, land holding, training and membership in agricultural organization were the highly significant factor for farm mechanization. Pump set, mesh, mesh grain dryer and seed drill were the much needed farm implement to ease mesh farming yeah, and yeah. increase mesh productivity instantly. So, some suggestions are plan, plan guidelines and policies should be made by concern authority to address the need based machinery demand and to strengthen the socio-economic determinants that have high impact on mechanization. Some recommendations for further research are varietal trial for high yielding variety, role of ICTs in mechanization, assessment of soil status in measuring field, effect of climate change in mesh production. Acknowledgement. I would like to express my gratitude to AFU and PMAMB for their collaboration, which gave me an opportunity to work as an intern in Major Forget, forget this, forget. Show the glimpse. Some glimpse of my research. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This much is from my side. Relevant queries and constructive suggestions are highly welcome. Thank you. Simply show me your title and objective. <laughs> Show me your title and objective. Thanks, sir. This is my title, sir. Sir, is my title visible, sir? And uh, your title is too long. Yes, sir. Okay. You simply write farm mechanization and adoption strategy or adoption strategy, mechanization and adoption strategy the farmers, maize farmers in Sarlahi district. That will be enough. And go to your objective. So your objective? Objective, sir. This is an objective, sir. Objective, okay. And your objective is to gain information. Both objective, general objective. Okay. I think you have to rephrase, you know, this objective. And then to identify perception. Can you identify perception or you can assess the perception? So we can we can assess the perception, sir. Okay. And okay. identify need based farm implements for the study area. Yes, sir. Means what? Means what is the actual need of the farmer? Yeah. What would they say? You may have to say, you know, simply to identify suitable farm implements for the locality of the study area. Okay? 
ओके सर अंदर यू शो मी एनी टेबल इन रिजल्ट डिस्कशन और इवन इन यू शो मी मेथोडोलॉजी 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 सर यस यस हाउ मेनी फॉर्म्स डिड यू कलेक्ट 104 सर हां 104 सर 104 ओके एंड फ्रॉम बरतबा हाउ मेनी एंड फ्रॉम बागमती हाउ मेनी फ्रॉम बरतबा 48 एंड एंड फ्रॉम बागमती 56 सर हैव यू रिटन दैट आई हैव रिटन मेनी स्क्रिप्ट्स ऑफ दैट इंफॉर्मेशन हैव यू रिटन दैट दैट 48 फार्मर्स फ्रॉम बागमती और remaining from batwar otherwise no so you need to write that okay yes sir and then you show me any table in result and discussion result and discussion sir yes any table Okay, what is this? Ranking on perception regarding adoption of farm machinery by whom, where? Is it written? You simply okay. say perception of farmers or perception of respondents regarding farm machinery adoption in the study area. So you need to correct the heading of. all the tables and figures okay and don't okay. write source as field sir because it's your primary information no need to write field survey or source something like this rather you can do put year on the heading itself year 2000 put one comma and give 2022 that will be enough okay okay sir okay and, sir uh, i think uh, you have tried to collect the information i you have collected information as well and i am very happy that you were collect you were collecting all the information and try to write it in a better way still there is something lacking and consult your advisory team and make the corrections accordingly thank you thank you very much thank you sir for your advice sir Who is the next? Salaam. Next, Menuka. Menuka Gupta. Good luck, good luck. Okay. Okay. Is it visible, sir? Uh mm huh. -hmm. It is visible. My name is Pralat Basgai. The title of my uh, thesis is Climate Change Adaptation Practices and Willingness to Subscribe for Weather Alert SMS Service. among rice farmers of rice zones are like i would like to directly go into an introduction climate change refers to any change in meteorological meteorological condition over longer period of time developing and land locked countries like nepal are more susceptible susceptible to the more vulnerable to the change although the contribution of uh, these countries are fairly low nepal is ranked 128th out of 181 countries in the vulnerability index of the climate change impacts published latestly published by adb uh, in 2021 negative impacts of climate change on crop yields have been more common than the positive impacts farming in himalayan countries tends to be more susceptible to the climate change while compared with other con other countries rice is a major and most consumed cereal in nepal producing 5.6 million ton with productivity of 3.82 metric ton per hectare production is constrained by natural disasters and erratic climate including soil degradation which are all triggered by climate change climate change adaptation is relatively a novel concept adaptation efforts are shaped by various factors such as political factors funding motivation and cultural values initiatives lying in the context of one community may produce different outcomes than another community so it is difficult to distinguish between climate change adaptation practice and related activities which reduce risk to the environmental disasters statement of problem the productivity of sorlai is 3.6 metric ton by per hectare which is lower than national average and most districts of tarai rise in temperature in nepal is projected to be higher than global average by 2080s nepal is projected to warm by 1.2 degree centigrade to 4.2 degree centigrade 
for every one degree rise in temperature, the decline in rice yield would be about six percentage because of climatic change. Local land land races like Korea Kamod and Basmati are being less preferred for cultivation, which can push them to extinction in near future. Water table depletion has been a new problem to the farmers of Sarlai lately, requiring deep tubel over shallow. Rainfall in Sarlai has become variable and uneven, which has produced noticeable adverse impacts on rice yield. In October 2021, unexpected rain left around 7 billion worth paddy crop damage in several districts of Tarai region of Nepal, and Sarlai was one of it. And this picture is from Sarlai. It was reported by Khabar Rab. Rational of study, the scope of weather alert SMS to minimize the climate related risk of paddy farmers can be a new technological solution to the problem. The factors that affect the willingness to subscription to a climate risk minimization technology, which upon plausible assumptions may be generalized to similar other services as well. Beyond reporting of sample description, this study employs inferential statistics and econometric models to draw conclusions of the population. Previous studies regarding climate change adaptation practices are mostly descriptive in nature. No studies have been previously conducted to determine the factors affecting adoption of climate change adaptation practices in and around Sarlai, Nepal. It helps in policy level to increase the adoption of climate change adaptation practices by influencing the factors that affect the adop adoption. Major objective was to understand the problem of climate change, its adaptation practices, and look for an existing technological solution within the reach of most farmers. His specific object objectives was to assess the status of climate change adaptation practices, to determine the factors affecting the adoption of climate change adaptation practices, and to elicit the farmer's willingness to subscribe for climate, climate alert SMS service and factors affecting it. In my literature, I have um, put these topics in my manuscript. Materials and methodology, selection of study area. Our review of municipality ward number one, five, six, and seven of Sarlai was uh, selected purposively. Selection was based primarily on the informal selection by the PIO officers, where minimum language barrier was anticipated. In the sample size and sampling technique, 110 households were selected using simple random sampling without replacement from sampling frame of 350 farming households. Identification of climate change adaptation practices. This thesis work considers climate change adaptation as the adjustments societies perform to limit the negative effects of climate change or to take the advantage of opportunities provide, provided by changing climate. A definition given by UC Davis in 2019. A list of 10 climate change adaptation practices was prepared from literature review and the same were used in this study. And the, the adaptation practices considered in the study were no, 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 don't read. Don't read. Go ahead. Materials and methodology, data types and data collection technique, primary data, secondary data. I would like to skip this. Data collection technique, a survey schedule was designed using the principle of coordination schema. The survey schedule was pre-tested among 18 farmers, which are 16% of the total sample. In the ward number five of Haripurva, necessary changes were made and the simplifications of questions were made as well. Data analysis technique, data are collected and coded for dummy variables and data information was entered in MS Excel. The Excel file was imported in EBS 2L, Eastern version, and the necessary analysis were made. Both descriptive statistics and inferential statistics were employed. We employed, we applied, I applied generalized Poisson regression model to determine the factors affecting the adoption of climate change adaptation practice, and logic model was used to determine the factors affecting willingness to subscribe weather alert SMS service. Theoretical framework. I used count data models. Count data models are the regression models where dependent variables are count numbers or non-negative non integers. I did not apply OLS. This, this, this you can skip. This oh, also skip, 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 skip. Okay. Now, results and discussion. Socio-demographic characteristics of, the, characteristics of rice farmers of the study area. I would like to focus on the striking features of the socio-demographic characteristics of the sample. Uh, the first is the out of 10 practices, climate change adaptation practices, the mean adoption was 2.4 with the standard deviation 1.32. And the mean age of the household head who was the prime decision maker of the uh, of the farming, their farmland was 60.6, I, which I found uh, pretty high. And the family size was 5.56, mean family size with uh, 5.57 members with the standard deviation of 1.89, 5.57 is higher than the national average of 4.2 family members per family. And the total land holding was 13.9 kotha, 
the standard deviation was 5.5, which is higher than the mean. That means the dis the data is uh, dispersed. Uh, the standard deviation suggests the unequal distribution of land among them. Top three percent of the farmers own ten percent of the total cultivated land holding of the entire state area. The highest landholder owned 140 kotha, whereas the least owned two kotha only. Unequal distribution of farming land in Torai region was previously reported by International Crisis Group 2007 as well. I would like to come back again. And another striking feature was around 78% of the farmers where uh, they had membership to farmers group or cooperatives. The plausible reason behind this can be that the, all the services of the uh, zones and AKC were provided through the farmers group. And the belief of existence of climate change was 74% people believed that believed on the existence of climate change, and around 80% of people uh, household had uh, had mobile phone. They possessed their own mobile phone. I would like to move to next slide. And looking at the adaptation practices, cultivation of early maturing varieties uh, was adapted by six farmers, which is 5.5%. I would like to go through quickly through this cultivation rate matching varieties was 18 percentage. In next slide, I have visualized all this data. I would like to directly go, go through that. We can see here that use of FIM was uh, the practice that was most most adopted by the farmers, which was followed by the use of improve, improved seed, um, and it was followed by the field drainage, which was followed by uh, late cultivation of the late maturing varieties, which was uh, followed by green manuring, followed by reduced tillage, and followed by alternative waiting and drying, DSR, early maturing varieties, and at last, SRI system of rice intensification. Now, um, coming at the, let's look at the factors uh, affecting the climate change adaptation practices. We can see that two variables, age and land holding, is that age and land holding uh, significantly affected the number of adaptation practices, both at 5% level of significance. The direction of age is negative, meaning uh, as the age of household age increases, they tend to adopt fewer adaptation practices or, or young people adopt more than the old age people. Similarly, the direction of coefficient of land holding is positive, meaning that more adaptation practices are followed by people with more area of land holding. Uh, mobile phone possession, possession and other uh, factors had no significant effect on the number of uh, adaptation practices. The constant is significant here, which is uh, very meaningful, I think, because uh, it means that even if all the factors affecting uh, uh, are excluded, then people or household are still adopting some or many of the adaptation practices, which is obvious with obvious practices like farmhand manure, use of farmhand manure and use of improved seed. Here, the p-value of the model was 0 0.02, meaning that the whole model was statistically significant. Uh, similarly, the log likelihood was minus 170, which can be used for the comparison with similar other models. And uh, uh, going to the, looking at the factors affecting willingness to subscription to weather alert SMS service, we can see that economic status low is significant at 5% level and the direction of effect is negative, meaning household with low economic status are less willing to subscribe than the household with medium economic status, as the medium economic status is our base variable. Similarly, belief of existence of climate change positively and significantly affected the willingness to subscription at 1% level of significance, meaning that household aid who believed that climate change exists were willing to subscribe more and vice versa. Also farming experience had negative relation with willingness to subscription at 1% level of significance, meaning less experienced farmer are were more willing to subscribe and vice versa. The pseudo R square is 0 0.40 uh, as one signifies the perfect predictability of the model. The value between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 indicates very good model fit. So our model as a good fit. The entire model is statistically significant with p-value of nearly perfect zero. The log likelihood again is minus 43, which again can be used for comparison between similar other models. Result and discussion. Land holding and age significantly affect the adoption of climate change adaptation practices in the uh, same and opposite direction respectively. Similar results have been reported by Mosu Detail 2017 and Johnson and Grab Grabanski in 1999. Similar relationship willingness to subscribe for 
advisory weather forecast and farming experience was reported by OAKL in 2015. Similar result of farmers experience affecting the adoption. Conclusion. conclusion. Conclusion, around 60% of the respondents were willing to subscribe for SMS service and the average number of climate change adaptation practice uh, in farmers uh, Adaptation practice the farmers adapted was, was 2.4 in 10. The climate change I, I, awareness I, 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 among, I the climate change awareness among farmers was found to be fairly low. Assuming the availability of such or uh, SMS service, belief in the existence of climate change, harming experience, and economic status can be altered to increase the willingness to subscription. Land fragmentation negatively affects the adoption of climate change adaptation practices. Suggestions: a national SMS service program notifying farmers about potential rain, hail, and any other unfavorable climate forecast is suggested to minimize the agricultural climate risk factor. Programs to increase the farmer's awareness on the climate change and its adaptation practices is suggested, and development of policies for land fragmentation discouragement is suggested. Suggestions to further researchers. A further research on willingness to pay for such a SMS service is suggested for further research. Economics of adaptation of various climate change adaptation practices and their comparison is still unraveled. Acknowledgement. Some glimpses of the service schedule. I did not have phone back then. I had to ask people to take my photo and I asked them to send me. That's why I have very few photos. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And uh, I think you tried your level best. Yeah. To just to talk something about the climate change strategy and practices, and still, you know, there is debate. How are you going to say there is impact of there is in fact the climate change? You know? So it is a matter of debate. But you know, when you are talking about willingness to subscribe for other alerts and services, not only that, you know. Even if you should have talked about you know, this SMS service or some other way of getting information. Okay. So I yes. think there is something lacking. And again, you know, your presentation is good. You did hard work. This is something is missing. I think it has to be, you know, discussed or it has to be you know, explored and here again you know if you look at the first slide you know this this slides yes sir there is no name of faculty which faculty do you belong yes sir okay so it would have been better had you written here again this agriculture and forestry university should have come down college of natural resource management must have been upper side then faculty then university right Yes, sir. I agree, sir. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Who is next now? Who is next? Oh, this is Namaste and welcome to everyone who presented my advisory committee, advisory committee and respected external and presented everyone here. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you everyone for joining here. I would like to introduce myself. It's me, Minka Gupta from uh, CNRM Pakhibas. Um, now I would like to uh, start my presentation. My presentation topic is, uh, is Status of rice production is marketing and mechanization in Porsa district. This is my supervisory committee, major supervisor, Tulsi Parajuli, assistant professor, site supervisor. Don't, 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 read, don't, don't read these all things. Okay, sir. Go to your overview of my presentation. Forget, is here. forget this. Introduction. Leave this, leave, leave this. Go to a statement problem. Yes. 
rice yields are low. There exists a gap between what farmers are harvesting in their rice fields and what has been demonstrated by research. So when we review the past few years, the food balance of Nepal has been uh, showing positive trends, even though on an average we are importing rice worth of about rupees 2.5 billion every month because we eat or demand more than what government estimated. Farmers are unaware of registered and hybrid varieties of Nepal. Also, there is the problem of proper marketing channel, rice milling, storage, etc. The cost of problem production has increased due to the pandemic COVID-19. There seems to be a gap between technologies developed and used by farmers. Farmers have to face the problem of rainfall during harvesting of spring season rice. Rational of study. This study will help to know the status of rice production and different marketing channels involved in the marketing in uh, Porsche. This study will scientifically verify the findings and purposes, suggestions, and future policy recommendations uh, to enable farmers to adapt the, uh, to recent technologies and meet the market demand. Uh, my uh, objectives, general objectives, is to assess the situation of rice production, marketing, and status of mechanization in rice production. A specific objectives uh, to know about present, present status and practices of rice production in Porsa, to know about different marketing channels involved in marketing, uh, to assess the impacts of mechanization in rice production, to identify the problems in production mechanization, commercialization of rice, and hence find the possible ways to solve them. Uh, literature review are here methods and methodology selection of the site i uh, selected porsagari nagar palika of ward number one two three four and soko porsoni gaon palika ward number one two is purposely selected because of large area for rice cultivation and production sampling size and sampling method paddy growing farmers of the selected area where the targeted population for the study the farmers were selected after consulting the previous data of Paddy uh, growing farmers in Porsa published by Paddy Zone, PMMP PIU Porsa. Simply a uh, simple random sampling techniques were used to select the household for the survey. A uh, total of 90 uh, farmers, 60 from Porsa Gadi and 30 uh, from Sokhwa Porsoni farmers were interviewed with semi structured questionnaire. This is the map of my study area. Methods of data collection, primary source are preliminary survey, household survey, key informant interview, field observation, focus group discussion. Secondary source is different institution and organization reports such as MOLD, CBS, uh, journals, articles, and research papers. Data analysis, descriptive analysis done by mean frequency percentage were calculated and analyzed with SPS, SPSS, and MS Excel. Results and discussion. Uh, sociodemographic characteristics of respondents. More percentage of uh, male uh, respondents were found. A general age group of uh, respondents, minimum age group of respondents were 25, and maximum age group of respondents was 75. Uh, ethnicity. Uh, about 70 percent of the respondents belongs to Adivasi and Zanjati ethnicity. Education level of the respondent. High up number of respondents were uh, illiterate, and a list of them are um, bachelor holder. Occupation of the respondents in the study area. Uh, major occupation of the respondents were agriculture, that is 80 percent. Land holding of the respondents. Uh, total land holding in uh, in average uh, land holding is 20. Uh, total rented land in Kotha is it also 20.36. Total land holding for agriculture in Kotha 18.42. Area for spring season rice cultivation. Minimum is 2 Kotha, maximum is 40 Kotha. And for mean season rice is minimum 2 Kotha and maximum 30 Kotha. Production and productivity of spring and mean season rice. Production or uh, production per year of spring season rice is minimum four quintal and maximum one hundred two quintal. Uh, similarly, for mean season rice is three quintal minimum and in maximum forty five quintal. Productivity average productivity is uh, one point seven for spring season rice and for mean season rice is one point four eight. Unit price, total production, income, and distance of market. Unit price per quintal for selling rice is minimum 1800 and maximum 2500. Total production, including spring rice and mean season rice in quintal, is 
for uh, seven for uh, seven quintal uh, for for minimum and uh, sorry 147 uh, quintal in maximum uh, minimum distance of market is one kilometer and maximum distance is 10 um, 10 kilometer income average income of the respondent was uh, 162,363.33 status of rice mill in a study area uh, max, uh, all, almost all the rice mill were in poor condition some are in good condition with 18.33 percentage measure of tackles in adoption of the tools and techniques um, for uh, first obstacle with uh, economic affordability with 40 percent and uh, second is a lack of knowledge 35 percent uh, Third, uh, third one is in uh, lack no of. need to read everything. Simply say the striking feature. Marketing channels. Three marketing channels are involved. Uh, first one, producer to consumer. Second one, producer to collector or communication agent or uh, wholesaler, retailer, then consumer. Third one, producer, wholesaler, retailer, and consumer. List of tools used in a study area uh, for cultivation, tractor, rotavator, drum seeder, and for harvesting and uh, after harvesting is sickle, combined harvester, reaper, thresher, baler, and turbo happy seeder. This is the ranking of production constraint of rice in Porsa no. district. Uh, first, uh, um, most severe problem is disease no. and paste. Uh, second, most uh, uh, high severe is marketing. And uh, third one is traditional, traditional technology and local input. Uh, fourth one is lack of uh, proper farm machinery. Fifth one, okay, lack okay. of education. Okay, okay, go ahead. Factors affecting the productivity of spring rice are education status, number of family members, number of active members in agriculture, total land handling, area of spring rice, and uh, since the uh, uh, since there is no significant difference in the p-value, so the uh, result is uh, not significant, and there is uh, null hypothesis is accepted. So these factors does not, does not affect the production of spring season rice. Similar is the condition in main season rice. Now discussion. Eighty percent of the farmers. Go to conclusion. Go to conclusion. Mostly cultivated variety of rice in Porsa are Hodinath of Chowda Valley and is spring season rice and Sona Mansuri and Kotorni is mean season rice. Land preparation is totally mechanized, but there is still lacking of mechanization in management practices and harvesting. Most of the respondents adopt chemical method for weed control as well as to control pests and disease, and there is no provision for fertilizer from government side. Harvesting is done through combined harvester, which costs Rs. 5,000 per hour or sticker. Uh, also, farmers are facing problem of uh, rainfall during harvesting of spring season rice, which decreases the market value of the produce. To said majority of the respondents follow traditional method of storage. Collect, uh, collectors are mostly involved in marketing process, which results in low price of produced uh, rice. All the respondents re uh, reviewed the semi uh, se received the same price for whatever variety of rice produced, and there is no customizing center and poor condition of rice mill. Uh, is observed. Suggestions. Knowledge on register and hybrid varieties of impulse should be provided to okay, the farmers. Okay, okay. It is seen. Acknowledgement. I would like to thank no, to no my... No need, no need. These are some glints of my internal program. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Manika? Yes, sir. Go to your title. Okay. Objective? Okay. What is this? What have you written in general objective? This is the situation. Read. To assess the situation of rice you production. Are you writing excess? SS? Yes, sir. ACESS? Yes, sir. Is that? You don't know the difference between AC and AS, right? Have you shown this to your yeah. the committee? Sorry, sir. It's my mistake. Hmm? Yeah? 
Here again, you're writing in your third specific objective. Again, the same mistake you have committed. I need. Sorry, sir. Extremely sorry. Have you discussed the impact of the generation dash process in your presentation? What impact it has brought to the rice production? No? Then why are you writing this third objective? Sorry, sir. I think you, you tried your level best. Okay. Consult with your advisory committee. Ask them to look after your sincerely this must give time and make it more meaningful okay okay sir and your conclusion is too lengthy so it is with suggestion don't have that much conclusion and suggestion okay okay sir okay who is the next Thank you so much, sir. who is presenting next milam yes sir am i audible Hello, Namaste and welcome everyone. Good afternoon. It's me, Milan Achari, student of CNRM Practical Sankuta. I was assigned as agriculture intern in Agriculture Knowledge Center, Nalparasi, Badagas with Pasim Nepal. And I conducted a research under the topic Effect of Mulching, Organic and Chemical Fertilizer Treatment on Growth and Yield of Cucumber in Nalparasi, Badagas with Pasim Nepal. And here is my supervisor committee. Here is the outline of my presentation. An introduction and its background information. Here is the statement of problem. The production and productivity of cucumber in Nepal is almost one fourth of the world average productivity. Farmer of the area where I study, where I did my research, use uh, urea and DAP as a fertilizer source in the higher dose to increase the yield. And FIM was only used in every two years. Mulching is not a mulching is a non-chemical weed control crop production technique, which is effective in nutrient conservation and alternate alternatives to herbicides. Due to hot weather in Nalparasi West, soil dry faster, frequent irrigation was problematic. So use of so use of black polythene mulch in early season production as it increased the soil temperature, whereas silver black mulch in is more appropriate for hot weather planting and production as it lowers the soil surface temperature, according to Jabran 2019. That is the rationale of my study. The objective behind mulching in agriculture are namely moisture conservation, temperature control, weed control, reduction of, of runoff and erosion prevention of surface compaction and improvement in soil structure, according to Ranjan 2017. Frequent irrigation, high cost labor for weeding and frequent herbicide application increase the cost of production, which can be managed with the help of mulching. Realizing the role of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium on the growth and yield, FIM in combination with the NPK was also used in the uh, experiment along with the silver coated plastic mulching. That is my Objectives, broad objective is to know the growth and yield performance of the cucumber under the mulching, organic and chemical fertilizer treatment. Specific objectives are to compare the uh, effects of mulching in growth parameters and yield of cucumber, to evaluate the performance of cucumber under the FIM and NPK fertilizer in the growth and yield parameters, to find out the interaction effect of mulching in relation with different fertilizer application in cucumber. Here is my literature reviews, methods and methodology. Here is the site selection. Uh, Pointed site was my research location, which is Ramgram 70 Nalparasi, Badagasi Tapasim. I use Raza hybrid as a variety. Uh, duration of research was from uh, February to June uh, 2022. I used two factor uh, activity design for the research, where there were uh, eight treatments and three replications with a total number of 24 plots, each plot having size of uh, 3 into 3 meter, including 16 plants per plot, and four plants were taken for the sampling. Uh, spacing uh, used for the cultivation was 75 into 75 centimeters and total area for the research was uh, 283.5 meters square. Now, uh, here are my uh, treatment details. Uh, for the experiment, eight treatment were selected factor A and factor B, mulching and non mulching, control, FIM only, and PK, and combination of the FIM and PK. And here are the combination of the treatments. And the layout of the uh, here is my layout of the field. My field was 21 meter long and 13.5 meter wi uh, wide uh, with three duplication and they are separated by uh, 10 centimeter and this is between uh, two plots uh, was 50 centimeter and there are uh, eight plots in each replication and total number of 24 plots i left one uh, meter of distance at the border 
and there are some agronomic, agronomic and cultural practices. A recommended dose uh, used was 7 kg per rupani for the urea, 2 kg per rupani for the DAP, and 5 kg per rupani for the MOP, and uh, that is 140 is to 40 is to 100 kg according to Christie Diary 2078. Recommended dose for uh, FIM was 1500 uh, kg per rupani, that is uh, around uh, 30 ton per hectare. Mulching uh, material used was silver on, uh, silver on black plastic mulch of 30 micron under open field condition. Shielding were grown in poly bag under uh, nursery condition. Irrigation method applied was for irrigation using pump set, the only available source of irrigation uh, in that uh, in that area. Wilting and red pumpkin beetle were a major problem affecting the yields. So I used cypermethrin and chlorophyte was in the lower dose one ml per liter. And two hand wettings were done for the non-mulching non plots at uh, second and fourth week of uh, transplanting. Finally, harvesting were, was done in uh, two stages. These are my observations uh, in the growth parameter and yield attributes. And I, I uh, record, the recorded data were analyzed using the software MS Excel and RE Studios. And the result and discussion. Effect of mulching al uh, along with the fertilizer on the plant height of cucumber in North Barashi West, uh, 2022. Uh, plant height were taken at different uh, days after transplanting, uh, like 15, 30, and 45. Plant height under mulching was observed higher at uh, all days after transplanting, that is 33.98 cm in 15 days, 143.10 cm in 30 days, and 170.80 cm in 45 days after transplanting. Similarly, plant height was observed uh, higher in FIM plus NPK at all days after transplanting, that is uh, 36.04 cm in 15 days, and uh, 158.66 cm in 30 days, and 181.23 cm in 45 days after transplanting. And uh, now table two, effect of mulching uh, along with the fertilizer on uh, number of branches of cucumber in all Parashi waste 2022. The number of branches at 15 days after transplanting was not found significant in both the factors, but in the later days, uh, 4.7 uh, number of branches in 30 days and 5.35 in 45 days was found in mulching, in mulching condition, which was higher than non-mulching. Now, under fertilizer application, there was uh, no such significant result found in number of branches in either of the day after transplanting, neither in 15, 30, and 45 days. Effect of mulching uh, along with the fertilizer on the number of leaves of cucumber in all parasitic waste 2022. Uh, in case of leaf, higher leaf uh, leaves was observed in mulching that is uh, about that is 4.89 in 15 days, 39.62 in 30 days, and 51.96 in 45 days after transplanting. But under uh, fertilizer treatment, uh, there was no significant difference in number of leaves in 15 days, but later on uh, in 30 days, slight difference was seen uh, that was higher in uh, FIM plus NPK in comparison to other. And uh, in 45 days, higher number of leaves was observed again in FIM plus NPK. In table number four, effect of mulching along with the fertilizer in fruit set, fruit length and fruit diameter of the cucumber in all parasite waste 2022. Uh, in case of fruit set, mulching has significantly higher number of fruit set, that is 13.73 fruits uh, in comparison to non-mulching. And plants uh, supplied with the FIM plus NPK shows higher fruit set, that is 14.6 set uh, number of fruits. And uh, now fruit set, uh, uh, fruit length and fruit diameter, uh, in case of that, uh, there was no significant difference observed in both the factor in my case. Now, table five effect of mulching along with the fertilizer on the yield of cucumber in all Parashi. In yield per plant, there was significantly higher yield in mulching, that is uh, 1047.43 gram per plant uh, when compared with the non mulching. And there was a slight difference in uh, yield per plant in case of dif uh, different fertilizer treatments. And higher yield was observed in FIM plus NPK, that was uh, 1033.74 gram per plant. Uh, now, yield in ton per hectare was found significantly higher in mulching uh, than non mulching, that is uh, 25.93 ton per hectare. And for fertilizer treatment, yield per hectare wa uh, was found higher in FIM plus NPK, that is uh, 27.97 ton per hectare. And here is the, some discussion that supports my uh, ex research. Leave the discussion, leave the discussion. Okay, conclusion. Uh, now, this is my conclusion. Uh, silver plastic mulching was superior in terms of plant height, number of branches, number of leaves, and yield of cucumber. Application of FIM in combination with the NPK produced better result uh, in case of plant height, number of leaves, and yield. From the findings, uh, yield attributing characters like number of fruit set and fruit weight per plant seems to affect the yield of cucumber. 
Interaction effect between the mulching and uh, fertilizer treatment were not found significant in case of my research. Suggestions for the future research. Acknowledge, I want to acknowledge uh, acknowledge AFU, PM, EMP, and all my. Don't, 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 read, don't read. Don't read. Don't read. And these are my glimpse of research activities. Okay. Show me your title. Okay, sir. Show me your title. Okay, sir. Yes, okay. Why have you written this organic and chemical fertilizer? Okay. Organic. Simply right effect okay. of mulching fertilizer on growth and yield of cucumber. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. okay. And then you have tried to conduct this action research. Tell me okay. how confident you are that hmm, you will be able to conduct research at your own in future uh, yes sir uh, alone it is a little difficult but uh, with the help of one person it is it is possible sir in future okay okay and con mm, consult with your advisor committee make yes, the mm, changes because there are a lot of mistakes okay i'm not going to spell it out right now okay and okay, then sir, make it readable, okay. meaningful. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. Thank you. Namaste to my respected sir and my audience. My research topic was uh, carried out in topic effect of biofertilizer and chemical fertilizer on growth parameters and yield of cowpea varieties in West Nepal, Parasi, Nepal. I'm a student from College of Natural Research Management, Marine Kapilakot, Sinduli. My advisory committee is like here, like this. Uh, and my outline of presentation uh, is like this from introduction to acknowledgement. Uh, here is an introductory portion. Uh, and a statement of uh, problem of my research uh, mainly includes the issue of global warming, climate change, and overuse of inorganic fertilizer aggravated the application of eco friendly fertilizers. Similarly, chemical input based agriculture is not suitable in long run and only integrated plant nutrient system involving a combination of fertilizer, organic manures, and biofertilizers are essential to sustain crop productivity and preserve soil health and biodiversity. Unfortunately, the use of combined applications of inorganic fertilizer and biofertilizer such as rhizobium and mycorrhiza is lacking in Nepalese context at local level. Rational of study uh, majority of farmers in uh, West Nepal Parasi districts only use inorganic fertilizers as a source of nutrients and are unaware about the effectiveness of biofertilizers as a source of nutrients for increasing legume productivity. And as we know, for the optimum plant growth and productivity, nutrients must be available in sufficient and balanced quantity. Also, the use of biofertilizer increases the efficiency of chemical fertilizers and are cost-effective and environmental friendly. The present investigation was undertaken with a view to studying the effect of fertilizer treatment on the growth parameters and yield of cowpea in West Nepal Parasi district of Nepal. Here is my objective of the study. Uh, general objectives includes to know about the effect of biofertilizer and chemical fertilizer on growth parameters and yield of cowpea varieties. And specific objectives includes to compare the growth parameters and yield of cowpea varieties, male pattern one and uh, stickless. And, and to observe the growth parameters and yield of cowpea varieties under different fertilizer treatment, to know about the interaction effect of variety and fertilizer in growth parameters and yield of cowpea varieties. Literature review like this, uh, and methods and methodology um, includes site selection. Uh, here is a map showing my research area. Uh, my research area is West Nepal Parasi. Uh, and uh, Palinandan Gaon Palika of Ramgram 17, North Prasi, Bardagas Susta, Paschim. I uh, use variety, Mali pattern 1 and stickless. Duration was uh, from uh, February 22 to June uh, 22. Design uh, of my research study was two factor RCBD. Uh, row to row spacing, uh, spacing was uh, 60 centimeter into 30 centimeter. Uh, move, move, move. It's, uh, practices in fertilizer application during research period was uh, uh, 
land preparation. This also you can skip. Details of uh, treatments and varieties are uh, variety uh, was selected as first factor and uh, fertilizer was selected as second factor. Uh, and the symbols are like here Malip button one for V1, V1 for Malip button one, V2 for stickless, similarly for fertilizer, F0 for uh, control, F1 for micro IJ treatment, F2 for rhizobium treatment, F3 for recommended dose of fertilizer, F4 for micro IJ plus rhizobium, F5 for the combination of all three. Layout of my field uh, uh, was like this. The total length of field was uh, 26.4 meter and uh, width uh, was uh, 8.4 meter and uh, re replication um, and uh, two build treatments in one replication and uh, length of replication uh, was 7.8 meter and uh, replication to replication distance was 0 0.75 Meter. Next, let's see. Yeah. My observation parameters uh, includes growth parameters, yes. uh, uh, chemical properties of soils uh, of the experimental site includes soil is tested, uh, soil is tested, pH uh, 7.7, alkaline, organic matter low, nitrogen low, phosphorus level is also low, potash level was also low. Soil was tested through the technical personnel from soil and fertilizer testing laboratory, Khajura Banke. Now, let us talk about resultant discussion. Plant height of cowpea has influenced by different varieties and fertilizer treatment at Nalparasi West 2022. First of all, talking about variety as first factor, uh, at uh, 30 days after sowing, plant uh, stickless uh, mm -hmm. variety have higher maximum plant height, but uh, plant height at 45 days after sowing uh, was uh, significantly higher uh, for malipatan 1 at 45 day and 60 day after sowing. Similarly, for fertilizer uh, treatment, uh, combined F5 treatment so uh, significant uh, superior uh, superiorly significant uh, above uh, all uh, other treatments uh, and. Uh, uh, or, um, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. You are not able to describe it. Similarly, number of brands of cowpea as improved by uh, different varieties and fertilizer treatment uh, inputs. Variety, uh, variety, uh, variety one so significant result at 30 day after sowing, uh, but at uh, 45 days, number of brands for uh, stickless is higher. Similarly, number of brands uh, at 60 days is higher for uh, stickless variety. Similarly, uh, number of brands uh, for in F5 treatment is higher uh, and lower number of brands was recorded in F0 combination, but which is at par with uh, F1 and go, F2 treatment. Go to another table. Don't read everything. Similarly, ports for plant, seed weight for plant and pore length. As uh, seen here, malipatan stickless variety shows higher ports for plant, and similarly, uh, stick uh, malipatan variety shows higher seed weight for plant and pore length. Uh, there is a non significant result are observed. Uh, similarly, for uh, fertilizer treatment, the maximum ports for plant was observed in treatment F5, uh, we, and minimum uh, ports for plant was observed in F0 control treatment, which uh, is at par with uh, F1 and F2 treatment, F3 also. Similarly, seed weight for uh, plant in gram is uh, maximum for F5 treatment uh, and minimum for F0 treatment. Similarly, yields for plot, uh, as we see the yields for plot in gram yield in kg per hectare and 1000 seed weight, uh, we can see that uh, malipatan 1 variety shows higher yield for plot. Uh, also, malipatan 1 shows higher yield in kg per hectare and also 1000 seed uh, weight. And uh, your 5 fertilizer treatment shows higher yield for plot, uh, but it is. Uh, it is is at par with the F4 treatment, but uh, F5 treatment so numerically higher yield for plot. Similarly, 
yield in kg per hectare uh, F5 treatment so higher yield in kg per hectare or uh, which is uh, at par with F4 treatment also go uh, ahead go ahead sir i can explain one thing uh, there is no any significant result for uh, interactive effect for variety and fertility treatment for uh, the object parameter uh, during my research conclusion Con conclusion includes continuous usage of bio fertilizer will not only reduce the need of chemical fertilizer but it will also enhance crop yield and profit of farmer in longer long term use in the view of the obtained result it could be concluded that among the study treatments combined application of bio fertilizers and inorganic fertilizers uh, was found to be more desirable that give higher growth parameters yield attributes and seed yield similarly out of two varieties malipotan one was found to be desirable in terms of growth parameters yield attributes and seed yield thus the copy varieties um, variety malipotan one and combined application of bio fertilizers and inorganic fertilizers uh, might be recommended to obtain higher yield of copy in this region here is solution for future research here is some glimpse of my research activity acknowledgement agriculture and forestry university pmm all the staff of apc don't 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 do it don't don't do it thank you sir okay Naveen? Yes, sir. Are you confident of conducting research at your own in future? Yes, sir. I, am, I have confidence. Have you learned something? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I think uh, your conclusion recommendations are a bit long. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. Uh, even in your um, headings of the tables are not uh, good. Okay? Yes, sir. So, Consult with your advisory committee, make it attractive as well as meaningful, and uh, submit in time if possible. At least produce one research paper that will help you in future. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Next one is. Okay, Ramlal. That was this question. Okay, I will start, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go to simply a statement of problem. Okay, yes, sir. Sir. Like... Statement of uh, state problem in state area. The production of rice in Parsa district is not as far of the potential, okay? and there is a still a hog gap between the thick attainable in thick and potential yield of the thicker rice. And farmer ignorance of if in management take a practice of the rice farming lead to the take hog challenges take to the take in the production. And low productivity of rice is compared to the Asian country due to the incidence of insect pest and disease. There are uh, losses of rice yield take due to the insect pest, mainly burn plant over yellow rice system, borer garden work, leaf holder. Uh, and storage condition rice we will and also uh, due to the thicker poor management thicker practice also causes hog loss of thicker rice in production as well as in storage condition uh, rational of history lack of uh, adequate information about the proper management thicker practice of thicker different conditions such as the disease insect pest thicker and their control management they, and very few study has been thicker carried out regarding the major insect pest thicker and their management thicker practice in the rice cultivation Okay. Objective, journal objective to assess the farmer knowledge and insight concerning the major insect pest of rice and their take management in Porsa Birgans. Uh, specific objective to identify the major insect pest of the rice in the field and in storage and to study the local management take practice adopted by the farmer and to study the major uh, to, to understand the farmer no, uh, uh, perception toward use of chemical pesticide in the rice field in rice field and in storage condition. Literature review. Mm. Are explained. Uh, botany of the pardon, 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 pardon. methodology and study area parsa gadi municipality ward number three and four and sakwa person municipal ward number one and two. 
methodology simple uh, simpling procedure the area of the parsagari municipality one uh, three and five and sakwa parsani municipal one and two uh, where provisionally selected tika for the study sampling frame uh, out of thousand tika people we are uh, i i will select it tika is and hundred uh, people and pm tika rise on parsa and the total tika hundred sample tika were selected tika by the sample random sampling procedure the data were tika primary data uh, from the interview telephone tika survey household survey focus group discussion key in front interview and secondary data will be collected uh, by reviewing the different tika publication tika from the government and non government organization report from the national organization mop <laughs> akc p pmamp etc and result and discussion and this uh, figure number 1 shows that the socio democratic and here uh, gender of the respondent in the study area where uh, in my survey uh, 30% uh, 65% were the female tiga and 35% were the male and uh, here the socio demographic information of the respondent in the study area uh, area here average is of the respondent is 41 uh, average size of the family is at total land holding in uh, 7 16.76 uh, uh, kata are in hectare 0.592 hectare uh, similarly irrigable land was one uh, 15 kata are 0.5 hectare and area of rice under uh, area of rice uh, production tiga was 13.37 kata are 0.45 Hectare. Similarly, productivity is uh, 4.814 uh, metric ton per hectare, which is higher than the other national uh, production level. And this figure number two shows the really region of the respondent, respondent, and figure uh, number three shows the ethnicity of the respondent in the study area. You have to do one thing. You skip all this. Go to your main regions. Okay, okay. From here you start. Here, uh, the cultivated variety and knowledge of the beneficial insect. Uh, here, thirty-five uh, percent of the respondent tiga are uh, cultivated hybrid variety, where forty-five uh, percent of the respondent tiga use improved variety, and thirty-three uh, percent tiga of the respondent use local variety. Uh, will uh, Knowledge of beneficial insect is uh, seventy-five percent of the respondent here. Know about the beneficial insect pest, where is the seventy-three percent of the respondent are know about the uh, in beneficial insect pest. Here, uh, the rice cultivation take a measure, uh, rice cultivation take a problem ranking in uh, order according to the respondent. Okay, you go, go to conclusion because you are not understanding anything. You simply go to conclusion. Conclusion here, uh, yellow rice 16 borer, uh, rice here, uh, heading box, rice leaf holder, brown plant over, uh, grass over, where are the major insect pest uh, in the rice field? And it is a mouth and must observe paste in the rice storage condition among uh, all the tika method, cultural, physical management, holistic tika were adapted by the majority of the respondent. Will biological method and integrated pest management were least adapted indige uh, and indigenous technology, uh, indigenous traditional technology were uh, also used by the tika respondent uh, for pest control. Uh, chemical method was adapted by less uh, than half of the tika respondent tika mostly were storage condition and their. Uh, was the significant association between the education level and pesticide, uh, pesticide use? Okay. Only few of the respondent use protective measure. Protective measure during the pesticide spray will uh, three of, by four of the respondent were ignoring uh, ignoring the pesticide hazardness. Few of the respondent tiga had knowledge about the integrated pest management, and less than one fourth of of them adopted integrated pest management in the field. Suggestion distribution of the quality seed awareness program to the farmer about the prevention of beneficial insect pests, information and training regarding the integrated pest management technique, training on a safe use of pesticide, and site specific research for the effective insect pest management practice. Yeah, acknowledge, forget, advisory. forget, forget. forget. Okay, Ramlal. Azur, sir. Are you in service, student? Azur, sir. Are you in service, student? Hmm? No. Yes, sir. Huh? You are Azur, sir. You are in service, student? Exchange, sir. Why not? Why not? I am in regular student, sir. Quite a bit. Then the way you presented is not clear. Okay. Mm. You simply started reading, and even your 
reading technique was not correct okay so okay sir i, I think hmm lot of corrections are needed in your okay sir manuscript and it is to all you know you are not yes, allowed to use the logo of a university okay sir in your presentation mm. not only to you to all who have presented today okay. this is not the way of presenting and i think the effort made by you all is very good definitely it will help you in your future endeavor and with this i ask you all to be in constant touch with your advisory committee take their suggestions try to prepare a manuscript in very good way thank you thank you very much yeah. thank you din sir aur koi koi sir yeah thank you okay sir thank you okay okay thank you thanks sir niru okay thank you din sir for uh, followed early sewing pattern uh, followed by late sewing and constant constant and uh, <clears throat> uh, uh majority of the farmer uh, followed uh, sri system uh, and uh, 97% of the uh, respondent followed uh, pesticide and herbicide for weed and disease control uh, there was an increasing mean maximum and minimum temperature this showed that the trend was in line with farmers perception Uh, the post monsoon is decreasing by 1.53 so the number of consecutive drought days has increased mm, germination flowering maturation and shedding time of plant species have been changing based on the perception of the people the production of crop have been uh, decreasing which leads threat to food security adaptation measure adopted were conservation of water resources construction of irrigation channel public awareness and changing cor- cropping pattern conclusion Uh, increase in temperature late monsoon increasing winter rainfall erratic rainfall pattern drought increasing intensity of the rainfall are the major indicator of the climate change which which is affecting uh, rice cultivation in bajani municipality uh, drought hailstorm flooding which causes increase in cost of cultivation occurring of disease based and weed water logging yield reduction are the major impact caused on uh, rice due to climate change change in planting pattern change in crop variety such as early maturing variety improved varieties plot tolerant varieties managing fertilizer construction of boring and integrating all local methods are the major adaptation to climate change in bajani uh, climate change is real and regular phenomena so the government researcher and concern is stakeholder uh, so the concern in stakeholders should consider the farmer farmer's problem and bring solution suggestion at training and awareness program should be conducted local adaptation practice must be preserved and promoted early warning system should be must be developed uh, local resources should be utilized properly further research work should be done to strengthen the farmers local adaptation strategies i would like to express my gratitude to dr santosh malhotra sir mr kalas ram choudhary sir vinod rana sir respected principal suryamani dungana and whole crnm family and afe family as well as my lead partners seniors and juniors These are some glimpses of my survey and lead tenure. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, Manisha. Uh, then uh, you have done a very extensive work uh, related to the climate change perception in the rice farming. Um, it's time of the external examiner to evaluate you. Uh, Officing sir, please. Thank, thank, thank you, sir, and Manisha also for for uh, doing research on this. Uh, climate change uh, manisha i am also one of the farmer and in said in your adjoining uh, in uh, area tikapur yes, sir <laughs> right now for <laughs> for four years uh, i want to do some uh, uh, something in, in, in to change some cropping pattern and some uh, to introduce some of the means uh, directly and indirectly some of the crops as a farmer i am practicing also also to 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 to, uh, to, to, to minimize this uh, situation actually every years you know that every years you will you know, this flood and droughts are occurring there and can you tell me in nutshell that manisha uh what precautions are really needed to counter this problem in nutshell really you have 
we have gone through with everything but in gist you tell me what two three uh, two three things actually two three uh, points so what would be the major I mean um, and how it could be the counter because uh, it's very difficult people are facing lots of problems the bhajanis and Tikapur, Bajani, Josipur, these all are suffering. One is the occurrence, natural occurrence. Another is the every year the kernel is also creating problems. Embankment gets damaged and water starts means, uh, entering in the village and somewhere. So these are the any time this problem can uh, means uh, arise. Can you can you re re give some reflections on this? Okay, sir. Thank you so much for your question. Uh, when I, when I did research, I was in the Pajan area, there was a lot of flooding and impact on the area. Actually, I was in the Pajan area, and I was in the Pajan area, and I was in the जैसे अब फार्मर और ले यूज़ गोरी राखे का पंसन दे रही फार्मर और ले जाएं एंड त्यो धान करने पे लाम जाएं एकदम ये जो फ्लोडिंग को समस्या हो रही है जो त्यो बजानी एरिया अनिते तातीरों को एरिया में जाएं अंते बायरा अनि दे रही फार्मर और ले जाएं त्या पहले ही आती हूँ उस तो बाड़ी को सोचना नहीं ना उधर रही था मतलब तीस तो देरे ले तीस तो कुना सब नहीं कर रहा है कथित अन्य और को पूरा से अब इंश्योरेंस तीस तो तीस तो बंदा बंदा के लिए है ना इंश्योरेंस को बारे में अपनी फार्मर रह रही थी कहीं बनी था रही ना रही था तीता को फार्मर र और को ते वाला इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी और रू अन्य अर्ली वार्निंग सिस्टम और रू तीस तो रूचा ये गौर दिया वाले अली फार्मर और रूले पनी अली के राहत पान थे दस लाख समाले चाहे अन्य और को प्रेस चाहे ते देरे रिसोर्स चाहे माले पनी गौर ना खाई ना आई ना ठीक चाहे ठीक चाहे यो माले चार वर्ष देखी हरी रह चु यो घोष्ट जस्तो चाहे कुने पनी टाइम में बहुत आया आउने सकता यो बहुत इस तो हार्वेस्टिंग को हार्वेस्ट को बेला माहौल चला नहीं है ना अच्छा सर हाँ हार्वेस्ट रोड तो एक गुना सो कर जाती है अब आमिर उस साल बिल्डिंग ना ज़्यादा खींची पनी आमिर उपिया में एमबी बाटा आ को वने वने चाहे मतलब कुछ तो जोर के रोक बोले जिस तो करने के उनसा नहीं अब ती मेरे डाटा मतलब एकदम ही क्या फ्लोडिंग को तो एकदम ही प्रॉब्लम नहीं था ये ना तो इसको लाइक इतना अब गवर्नमेंट का ही लेवल देखी नहीं तो समस्या लाइक इतना ही निवारण गवर्नमेंट वाले नहीं जस्ट तो मतलब इतना लगता अन्य एक दिन तो मतलब आप ही बने प्रैक्टिस के घर है जस्ट तो मतलब धान जून्सा नहीं धान को बेला� अने तील तील जून से दो क्विंटल तील आइले कम से कम दो से कौन सी पंद्रह बीस रुपए पर दो दो से पंद्रह देखिए पच्चीस समझ सा कम से कम चालीस चालीस हजार को तील बेचे आइले मुझे नहीं तो तेरे को धान पर बेचना सक्षम की सागरी रोने तील उटा उठाया लो इस तो इस तो क्यों तो बीच में अपनी तो कुने कुने इंटर यो तो अब इस तो कोई लाली से अब राइस को लाइक इस अब बंदा प्रोडक्टिविटी नहीं अब नेपाल को बंदा कोई लाली को नहीं प्रोडक्टिविटी बॉडी चाह इन अब तीस मास से अब ते वही रह पनी अब थारू पीपल आरु मोस्टली अब अति नहरु राइस में नहीं डिपेंडेंट करते ते वही रह तान तो ती नहले लगा उन्हें नहीं पड़ता म पूरे ही पूरे ही फ्लड लेते हो धान सब डूब सके तो क्या करने काटने वाला में धान डूब चाह काटने वाला में पूरे तो तोरी जून साली तो विंटर रेन ले तोरी खत्म पार दिन सब पूरा आज सर आज पूर साल रह अन्य पूरा साल तो जाने एकदम ही इम्पैक्ट कर रही थी तो बजानी में मात्रा ना बायरा सफेद हमारे इम्पैक्ट कर रही यो क्लाइमेट क्लाइमेट काउंटर करने लाये अब घया धान आ रहे हो इस तो इंट्रोड्यूस करें ऐसे थोड़े पानी संग संग यहाँ पे बढ़ता है नहीं तो अंत में करते हो तर सर लेके लेके देना उनसे आज आज इसको ईमेल एड्रेस लेके देना उनसे ये बात है उनसे उनसे अरे 
मैं भो तेस कारण क्रप हु नर्मल भेटघाट में पेटी फार्मिंग में एकदम इंपैक्ट करे अब हम हाँ तो एवं रिसर्च मत अब हजर को लेवल में जैसे कहीं न कहीं तोड़े अलग सती तीर तोर्य लास्ट इयर यार्क तोर थी हाई कहीं ना पूरे डुबाक कहीं ना कहीं पूरे कर्णाली कर्णाली को व्यवस्थापन कर ओके थैंक यू मनीषा एंड थैंक यू ओपी सिंह सर नाउ इट्स टर्न ऑफ द विष्णु विष्णु आर यू दियर यस सर ओके प्लीज शेयर योर स्लाइड ओके थैंक यू सर वेलकम गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्ते रिस्पेक्टेड मेजर सुपरवाइजर सर एक्सटर्नल एग्जामिनर एन ऑल दी ऑल दी अदर पार्टिसिपेंट आई एम विष्णु गुरु एट सेमिस्टर स्टूडेंट ऑफ बी एस सी एजी ए एफ रामपुर आई वॉज एस एन एट पी एम एम पी पैलली फर ली आई कंडक्ट सोशल सर्वे ऑन टॉपिक एडोपन स्टार्टअप्स अफ रिकमेंडेड प्रोडक्शन प्क्टिसे एवं राइस ग्रोअर्स इन पैलाली नेपाल सुपरवाइजर कमिटी मेजर सुपरवाइजर डॉक्टर सन्तोष मराठा साइड सुपरवाइजर कलेश राम चौधरी मेम्बर सुपरवाइजर राजेन्द्र प्रधान Outline of presentation, introduction, background information, statement of problem, rationale of study, objective, details of review, methodology, result and discussion, conclusion, acknowledgement, some glimpses of the study. Background information: paddy is grown worldwide in 100 countries on 165 million hectare with a total production of 750 metric ton. IRRI 2019 contributed to about 17 percent of the total GDP, with which equals to 7 percent of total GDP of Nepal CBS 2017. Producing 1.49 million hectare with a production of 5.61 million ton, with productivity 3.76 ton per hectare. Young VLT 2020. In Kerala, the district paddy is grown in 70,520 hectare, with a production of 306894 metric ton, and a productivity of 4.35 metric ton per hectare. Additional recommended production practices can enhance rice production and productivity. <coughs> Statement of problem: The production of Kerala district is below its production potential. Lo use of local seed and improper agronomic practices is the reason behind it. Um, several technologies like optimum seed rate, time of transplanting, method of transplanting, extra are far behind the interest and practice of farmers due to lack of awareness and education among the farmers. Some of some of the respondent, some of the farmers are slow in adoption of technologies, while some of them are quick in adoption of technologies due to difference in communication skill, socio-economic factor, extension contact, and so on. It's an analogy study. Lack of adequate information about changes in rice cultivation practices to design appropriate plants to increase productivity goes on at all 2012. Very few studies have been carried out regarding technologies adopted in rice cultivation. The study will help to find out. Detailed insight about the practices adopted used by farmers as well as factors affecting the adoption. Problems faced by the farmers in rice cultivation will be identified. Objective: General objective to assess adoption of recommended production practices among rice growing farmers of Kerala district. Specific objective to identify factors affecting adoption of recommended production practices. To know economic status. To know the source of knowledge. To know the constraint. Fish by the farmers. Detail is a review. Botany of rice plant concept of adoption, rice cultivation practices, factors affecting the adoption of recommended production practices, trend of rice production in Nepal and Kerala district, study area, Pozani municipality, Josipur municipality, regions, <coughs> sites where under command areas of rice zone, sites where major sites for rice cultivation in Kerala easily accessible. Sampling procedure. The areas of Bajani municipality and Dosipur municipality were purposefully selected for the study. Sampling frame of 720 farmers were made by <coughs> made by obtaining list of farmers from AKC and PMAMP rice zone. 
a total object is able to be selected using a raw sort of software and the response was selected by simple random sampling procedure primary data um, interview schedule telephone service sdd kii secondary data the secondary data were, were collected by reviewing different publications from government and non government organization and cooperative MOLD, PMAMP, ADI, CBI, CQC. Data analysis by using MS Excel, SPSS 25 version, um, chi square test, constant of rice cultivation of ranked. Result and discussion social demographic information, distribution of respondent based on gender. Um, out of total respondent, 31.3% were female and 88.8% were male. Distribution of respondent based on is category 11.3 percent were less than 33 33 years of old 65 percent were between age of 33 to 53 years of old and the remaining were above 53 years of old distribution of respondent based on ethnicity 56.3 percent with another 18.7 percent with prime and and remaining 25 percent were dolit Distribution of respondent based on education level 25% literate, 29% illiterate, primary 25%, 12% secondary, 9% higher. Distribution of major occupation agriculture, agriculture 71%, service 13%, government job 5%, business 7%, other 4%. Distribution of cropping pattern of respondent. Rice wheat rice 20%, rice wheat fellow 65%, rice wheat maize 8%, rice wheat mangumini 7%. Distribution of respondent based on yearly income below 1 lakh 20%, 1 lakh 26 lakh 72.5%, above 6 lakh 7.5%. Recommended production practices, recommended seed rate. The recommended seed rate for rice is 30 to, 30 to 35 kg per hectare among them among total of the respondents 70 percent of the respondent were adapter while 30 percent were non-adapter recommended age of transplanting recommended age of transplanting is 21 to 24 days 55 percent of them were adapter 45 percent were non-adapter recommended seating per per hill is 2 to 3 seating per hill 6 to 2.5 percent were adapter 37.5 percent were non-adapter Recommended variety for for area are Sardu Borna, Sardu Borna, Silky, Hadinat Egg, etc. Among them, 75, 70% of the respondent were adapter, while 30% were non adapter. Recommended story 31% were adapter, while 69% were non adapter. <coughs> Distribution of respondent based on different fertilizer use. In case of urea, 75% were high adapter, 20% were medium adapter, and 5% were low adapter. In case of DAP, 72.5% were high adapter, 25% were medium adapter, and 2.5% were low adapter. In case of MOP, 30% were high adapter, 18.8% were medium adapter, 6.3% were low adapter, and 45% were non adapter. Distribution of respondent based on method of weeding. 37.5% followed manual weeding, 37.5% manual and chemical weeding, 25% only chemical weeding. Distribution of respondent based on frequency of field inspection, 47.5% zero times, 18.8% two times, 18.8% three times, 15% five times. Method of harvesting and storage. Distribution of respondent based on tracing method, reaper 15%, 50%, sickle 30%, combined harvester 20%. Distribution of respondent based on storage method, earthen bean or dairy 18, 68.8%, tin container 31.3%. Membership in social organization and involvement in training. 17.5% of the respondent were had got membership in a social organization, while the remaining 82.5% had not got any membership in a social organization. 28.8% of the respondent had not got any involvement in training, while the remaining 71.3% had got training in. <coughs> Ranking of the 
source of knowledge used by the farmer for rice cultivation. Relatives and family members one, radio TV two, agro B three, agriculture extension officer four, NGO five. Ranking of constant based on field survey 2022. Unfavorable weather one, limited education facility two, timely unavailability of inputs three, higher cost of fertilizer and input four, distance of market five. Association of different independent, <coughs> independent variables are shown using chi square test. Mm, here, the association between different different independent variable and dependent variable are shown using 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 p value and calculated calculated chi square value at ten percent level of significance, five percent level of significance, and one percent level of significance according to the table. Age, education level, and caste doesn't have any, any relationship or any association with dependent variables. While agriculture group training have association with other dependent variables like seed recommended variety, recommended seed rate, recommended seeding per hill, recommended age of transplanting, recommended dose of fertilizers. Result: There was no any discussion of this category. There was no any association of his category to adoption of recommended production practices, which was in line with the finding of ransom at 2003. Adoption of recommended seed rate is of transplanting seeding for a are fairly good due to training membership of agriculture group, visit of extension worker, advice from agriculture agriculture technician, education level and land under rice cultivation, adoption status of recommended dose of potash micronutrient. Recommended stories are quite poor. Relatives and family members are the major source of knowledge used by used for rice cultivation, followed by radio TV, agrobed, agriculture extension officer and NGO. Unfavorable weather is the major constraint for rice cultivation, followed by limited education facility, high cost of fertilizer and input, and distance from the market. Suggestion, focus on extension program training, focus on varietal development, especially flooding the system variety, market availability of input and output. For further research, suitable method for controlling disease space, better trial, trial for spring rice production and marketing of rice, effect of climate change on agriculture. Acknowledgement, Major Advisor Mr. Santos Maratha, Assistant Professor, Department of Economy, Site Supervisor Mr. Kalas Ram Chaudhary, Member Supervisor Mr. Rajendra Pradhan, Staff of PMP, Rice Tano, EKC Pilali, Faculty of Agriculture. Agriculture and Forestry University, Rampur Chitan, my senior D partners, people of my study site, and all the contributors of my e study. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, thank you, uh, uh, Vishnu, for the nice presentation. Uh, uh, I request the external examiner uh, for the suggestion, question, comments uh, to your presentation and the topics. Sir, thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, in SOP, uh, Vishnu, you have written so many items, and in the in your objective writing, show me the objectives. Objective slide. First, you see, you see, you have written uh, major, major objective. You have written to assess adoption of assess adoption recommended production practices among the growing farmers of Kalari districts. It's okay, but and second, the specific object to identify factors influencing the adoption of recommended rice production practice is also okay. But in uh, in the rest of the objective, you have uh, started with the to know, to know, to know. How will you measure this? But you you have gone through with very nice presentations, very nice writing that uh, uh, all uh, uh, the, the reflections by. Uh, the, uh, by by your graphs and everything, it was okay. It was good, but to know writing the objective and starting the objective through you to know is worse level of writing. So you don't write this. How will you measure this? Okay, sir. Huh? I will correct you, sir. To enlist, to identify, to to, to, to these are the, the these are the to to compare. These are the way of writing this uh, writing of. Means to uh, that is the uh, writing of performance objective. 
Also, you can, you can, uh, means, uh, uh, you can, uh, you can deal some things. You can say something. They are findings, and you know, know is the lower level of uh, writing in taxonomy of object objectives. So, you please correct this. Uh, yes, it, it, it looks like a free riders. Uh, and uh, can you give me the answer? Why did you? You have chosen the eighty samples. So what? What? What was the logic behind it? Number eighteen. You have chosen the eighty. Let's see what I can. Is what? What is the logic? By using a rare sub software, sir. Hmm. 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 Formula ma, the software ma, rakhte thi thi aisa rante berti rakhi ko. Kun kun formula lagaya thi isko lagila bana. Sampling frame thi mero total kati chha. You software bar sir, you rare software ni software bar. Eh, software da software rata hai. Adil sir. Isko kun isko theory logic karu din aaj par the reference din par the na. Reference din par sa ki yo yo asi liye ko pachari yo logic chha. Huh? Software, you have to We have responded, we have selected by a simple random simply. Secondary data. Sixth, you have finally done a sir. you have research? What is the key pie when you serve to eat a much someone the body problem when it goes flooding when you put in, sir? Mhm. Okay, some of you so do recent parities are root of no body. Mhm. And to Jade Jade Asaran Wanda Jade Asarma Igdom flooding on the area, they were about so do recent parities are rope on it. Mhm. Flooding on the pile, harvest on a second, sir. Mhm. Only Ali Hadi. आडी बेरिटीज हरु रेकमेंड गर्नु पर्यो त्यो एरियाको लागि अनि त्यो स्टोरेज गर्दा चाहिँ त्यो माटोको भाडामा गर्दा रहेछ सर त्यो डेहरी भन्नेमा हम्म हम्म अनि बाडी आउने बेला सबै बगाउँदो रहेछ के सर त्यो त्यो कसरी त्यो के छ त्यो सेफ्टी मेजर्स के हुन्छ हुन पर्ने हो त्यो रिप्लेस गर्दै त्यसको लागि चाहिँ अब मेटल बिनहरुमा स्टोर गर्न सकियो तीन कन्टेनरहरुमा त्यो there are subsidy or China, not China, the thing also. Okay, thank you. Thanks, okay, uh, thank you, uh, OP Singh, sir. Uh, uh, now uh, we have a last presentation from Gaurav. Gaurav, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, uh, share your slide. And Present your key findings. Is my slide visible, sir? Yes, it is visible. Okay. Okay. Visible. Namaste and welcome, everyone. I am Gaurav Bhatta, student of AFM Rampur, and I worked as intern at uh, PMMP uh, Mugu. And uh, during my intern period, I worked on the topic uh, production and marketing of Apple in Mugu district of Nepal. And uh, my supervisor committee uh, consists of applying. Uh, major advisor Santos, Dr. Santos Marata, sir, uh, member supervisor Dr. Kamal Lajgari, sir, and site supervisor uh, Tej Bigram Malla, sir. And here is the outline of my presentation. It uh, consists of following headings introduction, literature review, methodology, results and discussion, conclusion and suggestions. Uh, let's move to introduction first. Uh, background of the study uh, Apple is one of the key and highly potential crop in terms of income and export grown in the mountain, mountains of western Nepal. Mungu district is one of the major apple producer in Nepal due to its uh, potential climatic and environmental conditions. Apple production is uh, done from semi-commercial to commercial scale. Uh, Red delicious, uh, royal delicious and golden delicious are the major apple varieties grown in Mungu. Go down. Also, slides change by the Hello. Okay, you are audible. 
स्लाइड चेंज भइ रहेछ है मेरो ए ब्याकग्राउन्ड अफ स्टडी मा छ नेक्स्ट स्लाइड जाउ त पहिला ओ चेंज भइ रहेछ प्लीज ओके ओके नाउ लेट्स गो टु स्टेटमेन्ट अफ प्रब्लम आयो वी हैव स्टेटस स्टेटस अफ एप्पल प्रोडक्शन इन नेपाल एन्ड स्टेटस अफ एप्पल प्रोडक्शन इन मुगु डिस्ट्रिक्ट एन्ड द टोटल एरिया अंडर कल्टिवेशन अफ एप्पल इन नेपाल इज 12910 हेक्टर and the productive uh, production within the country is 45205 metric ton it is according to the data of ministry of agriculture and livestock development 2020 similarly the uh, talking about the status of apple production in mugu district uh, the total area under cultivation is 1075 hectare and uh, the production of mugu district is 3891 metric ton now statement of problem this uh, despite the climatic uh, suitability of apple cultivation uh, the production and productivity of mugu district is marginally low as compared to other uh, apple producing uh, districts like monang and mustang lots of factors contribute to lower uh, low pro productivity of apples like incidence of insect and pest poor orchard management lack of irrigation etc poor adoption of improved agriculture practices and modern technologies is the major problem of uh, apple production in nepal and similarly marketing channels seems to be very inefficient in mugu district according to the data of 2020 out of to total apple produced within the country only 51.7% uh, apples were marketed while remaining were uh, used for the household consumption and rendered post harvest loss now additional of the study uh, study on the assessment of economics of apple production has not been carried out in mugu district and similar locations Uh, this study is uh, aimed to find out the real scenario of apple farming in mugu district in terms of production practices and marketing process uh, the findings will help to check the leakage at marketing channels and problems uh, the findings can be useful to develop the strategy for improvement of existing problem production practices and marketing process now objective of this study the journal uh, objective is to assess the economic production and marketing of apple sub sector in mugu specific objectives are Uh, to assess the socio-economic status of apple producer in study area, to analyze the uh, benefit and cost of apple production and marketing, to in investigate the production and marketing problems of apples uh, in uh, PMEMP Mugu, to analyze the marketing function and marketing channels of apple. Now, my literature review uh, were uh, was done by uh, concerning various journals, uh, abstracts, thesis books, website publication. Uh, Uh, edc and uh, the um, uh, literature review have the following headings uh, similarly now methodology study site uh, china tarara municipality was uh, purposely selected for the study site here the map of uh, china tarara municipality uh, shown in the mugu district uh, the reason for selection of this site is uh, it is the command area of apple zone and uh, uh, it is the site of major apple production now sample size and sampling techniques Uh, from the list of uh, registered farmers uh, in the pm uh, pmmp office 120 respondents were selected randomly by using, and uh, the sample size is determined by using ryosoft calculator and uh, three local uh, traders were also randomly selected and data types and data collection techniques primary data primary data were collected using uh, semi structured questionnaire and uh, fgds uh, similarly secondary data were collected using uh, annual reports uh, research study published articles research papers etc now method and techniques of data analysis uh, data were uh, coded tabulated and analyzed using uh, ems excel in uh, spss 25 version Similarly, mean uh, ESD frequencies percentage were computed for the descriptive analysis. Similarly, the findings were represented using the tables, figures, bar diagrams, pie chart, etc. And uh, economic analysis uh, was done uh, by using the following formulas: cost of production of apple, uh, gross margin, net margin, and uh, BC ratio. Similarly, marketing analysis was done using the formulas: marketing margin, producer share. Now, now let's move to uh, results and discussion. Uh, first of all, socio-demographic information and the figure one shows the uh, histogram chart of the age of the respondent, and we can see that the most of the respondent were uh, between the age uh, interval of 30 to 40. None of respondents were above 30 60. And similarly, um, figure two shows the gender uh, of the respondent. Most of the respondent uh, were male, uh, that is 88%, and female 12%. 
uh, religion of the respondent uh, we can see that uh, only hindu and buddhist were um, uh, respondent during the survey 71.7 percent were hindu and 28.3 percent were buddhist uh, figure four uh, so the ethnic group of respondent most of them were chetris and uh, dalit were the list one with uh, only six percent uh, similarly education level of the respondent uh, we can see that most of the people, uh, most of the respondents have uh, studied up to the class 10, that is 26.7%, and just 5.8% uh, were illiterate, and 5.8% uh, have completed uh, bachelor and above studies. Now, in the figure 6, we can see that uh, family type of the respondent 70.8% uh, uh, of the respondents have the joint type of family, and 29.2% have the nuclear family. In the next uh, in the uh, figure seven age group of the members uh, in, uh, these are the percentage of the members of the respondent uh, 52 percent people uh, were the active age 15 to 59 age uh, similarly uh, 59 plus uh, people were seven percent zero to five uh, uh, is 17 percent and five to 15 24 percent Similarly, uh, figure eight uh, occupation of the respondents uh, in the agriculture sector, we can see that um, uh, females were more uh, dominant uh, over male. 57.2 percent were females and 42.8 percent were males. Similarly, business males were domin uh, dominant 90 percent, 10 percent female. Government jobs uh, jobs 91.5 percent males, uh, 8.5 percent females. Similarly, NGO and, and INGOs 66.6 percent male and 33.33 percent females. On land holding of the respondent, uh, 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 it is the percent of the land holding of the respondent. Uh, most of the respondent respondents have high uh, lands on uh, head. Similarly, Bari have 27 percent and lake uh, land is 36.29 percent. And figure uh, 10 percent of the uh, irrigated and, uh, and uh, unirrigated land. Most of the land uh, of the my of the respondent during during the survey uh, have unirrigated land that is 62 percent and only 38 percent of the land of the respondent was irrigated and a figure 11 percentage of the respondents uh, in any uh, organization that is involvement of respondent in organization only 19 percent of the respondent have uh, found to be involved in any sort of uh, organizations 81 percent were uh, not involved. Uh, similarly, the uh, figure 12 percentage of type of organization the respondents were involved. 75% uh, highly, uh, most number of uh, uh, respondents were involved uh, in farmers group and least 2% in the cooperatives. Now, figure th uh, 13 respondents received training, uh, the distribution of respondents on the basis of training or the extension service they received. Uh, uh, my survey data found that uh, only 35% of uh, respondents uh, uh, found to have uh, received any sort of training or extension service and uh, um, the major uh, extension service provider was ADO that is 50 percent similarly PME and B28.8 percent and the NGO and INGOs were 21.2 percent now table first which is the status of the apple production among the respondent the total area uh, of apple cultivation among the resp uh, respondent was found to be 80.25 factor with a maximum of 1.2 and a minimum of 0 0.2 0 0.56 actor similarly the number of the trees of the respondent apple trees uh, 26.1 uh, 26147 uh, trees were found uh, uh, of total uh, respondents uh, with the maximum of 550 trees and a minimum 50 trees but the pro productive number of trees were found just 14712 with maximum productive trees 300 and a minimum 10 and uh, here's the data of the apple production among the respondent uh, of data of 2277 bs and 278 bs to, to uh, in during the 2077 bs 303 metric ton was uh, produced and uh, during 2078 bs 294.7 metric ton was produced here is the age group of orchard of respondent uh, uh, most of the respondent have uh, orchard age between the 5 to 10 years similarly 17 percent of respondent have uh, orchard age more than 10 years and uh, 22 percent of respondent have or orchard age less than five years and in the figure uh, 16 we can see that the percentage of the varieties of the uh, varieties uh, prevailing among the respondents uh, at almost every respondent have uh, uh, golden delicious variety that is 95 percent 
and everywhere every respondent have red delicious 100 percent uh, and 38.3 percent of respondent have uh, royal delicious 16.7 percent have granny smith and 27.5 uh, percent of respondent have fuji variety and here the table second so, uh, showing the status of and uh, status of number and production of different varieties uh, red delicious was found maximum with 18,532 uh, number of trees with mini and uh, granny smith have uh, lowest number of trees just 340 number of trees and the production of the red delicious also found to be high 191.55 metric ton now uh, table number three is the cost and return estimation of apple production in one actor for the 25 years and uh, the cost uh, of production of per actor was calculated by the summation of uh, variable and fixed cost per actor the variable cost was separately calculated for the first and second year from 3 to 15 years the variable cost was increased each year by 10 percent from 16 to 25 years the cost was considered same as that of 15 years but the production was assumed to be decreased by 20 percent and the variable cost for the 25 years in one actor was found to be 26 lakh 43,346 and uh, uh, total return from the uh, one actor during the 25 uh, 25 years was found to be 67 lakh 85,100 and vc ratio was found to be 2.52 for 25 years and here the table fourth showing the marketing analysis uh, is showed the uh, during the year 2078 bs uh, out of the total apple produce uh, among the respondent only uh, 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 5.74 percent of apple were uh, apple was sold before storage 49.64 uh, 63 percent of apple were sold after storage during the month of push and mag uh, similarly 16.54 uh, percent of the apple were consumed at home and 24.77 uh, percent of apple uh, suffered post harvest loss here is the uh, figure uh, showing the percent of marketing channels uh, existed among the respondent. Major channels uh, involved were channel first producer to consumer and channel second producer to traders to consumer. Channel first app 72.5 percent and uh, channel second app frequency of 27.5 percent. And uh, here the marketing uh, margin and uh, producer share is calculated. And we can see that uh, from the chan uh, channel, uh, channel first was found to be more efficient than uh, channel second because producers share during the chan uh, channel first was 100% uh, without storage and uh, uh, also 100% after storage. But the ch uh, channel second app producer share just 60% without storage and after storage it was found to be 50%. Means of the transportation uh, used during the marketing of Apple. Uh, uh, and we uh, we found that uh, potters that is 49 percent of marketing of apple was done by potters uh, similarly 23 um, uh, percent by horse and mule and uh, uh, just 28 percent by using pickup vehicles and a uh, figure 19 showing the percent uh, percentage of packaging materials used we can see that 55 percent of the apples was uh, uh, pack, uh, package uh, packaged by using doko and uh, uh, list uh, four percent by plastic container. And here are the problems during the production. Uh, the major problem was found to be the lack of infrastructure, like irrigation facilities, and it have the index value of zero point nine five. And uh, uh, other uh, uh, major problems were found to be poor technical knowledge on uh, unavailability of inputs, extreme weather conditions, and uh, insect pest damage. Similarly, problems during the marketing were. Uh, asked and a major problem was found to be the poor marketing marketing infrastructures like lack of collection centers lack of storage facilities and a uh, least minor uh, problem was found to be lack of low volume of production and the conclusion of my uh, presentation are most of the apple producing farmers was uh, were found to have joint family with a good literacy rate only 5.8 percent of respondents were found to be illiterate the area of the apple farming among the respondent was found to be 80.25 hectare and total production was found to be 294.7 metric ton in year 200, 2078 uh, bs which was less than the production of 2077 bs uh, average gross return gross margin benefit cost ratio of apple production showed the financial feasibility of apple farming in the Mug mugu district uh, apple 
producer found uh, to follow to marketing um, major marketing channels that is uh, producer to consumer and producer to trader to consumer due to the tedious marketing activities and marginally low price only few farmers uh, uh, are encouraged to sell their products during the year 2017 only 55.37 percent of harvested apple were marketed lack of irrigation infra infrastructures poor technical knowledge and insect waste damage extreme weather conditions like hailstones and unavailability of inputs were found to be major problems in apple production similarly poor marketing infrastructure and linkage high post harvest loss price variation were major problems during the marketing here are the some of the suggestions for the related um, authorities and uh, stakeholders uh, stakeholders should concern on the reducing the constant uh, related to the production and marketing of apple products proper supervision on the market margin along with the market channel from the concerned authority to increase the market efficiency uh, availability of inputs like fertilizer quality sampling etc should be available on time establishment of oil structured market along with the improvement of transport storage facilities for the post harvest management increase in the efficiency of the subsidies in uh, agriculture inputs insurance to the minimize the loss of uh, uh, minimize the risk of loss different technologies of for the processing of apple to prevent post harvest loss should be made available and training should be given for farmers about the minimizing the post harvest loss here is the acknowledgement i would like to thank uh, supervisor committee uh, afu rampur and my limits sarosrest and vijay regmi and all staff of pmi mp mugu here are the some of the glimpses of my um, survey thank you okay thank you gaurav uh, for the nice presentation uh, uh, it's time of the external examiner to evaluate you uh, please note down the all comments and the suggestion of uh, external examiner okay, i request sir. the uh, uh, dr op singh sir for the suggestion comment and queries and the questions uh, to the uh, presenter okay Listen, sir. In my my voice. <laughs> sorry, 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 sir. It was off. Uh, thank you, Dr. Sir, Dr. Santosh Mata, sir, for uh, getting this opportunity to to give some of the you know, to share some of our means opinion uh, in context of evaluating students. And uh, this uh, Gaurav has done very nice job. And the lastly, he has presented, he has taken, uh, taken the commodity also. It's very much friendly. I like Apple. <laughs> uh, thank you. And you, you have gone through with all the parameters of uh, Cobb Douglas, but you, you would have mentioned that land, labor, capital, you have already uh, gone through with all the analysis. And I, I just uh, guide this uh, Gaurav. To, to, oh, to yes. mention that one also, Cobb Douglas production power. Okay, okay, sir. Your presentation mm -hmm. length you never heard. You have taken that one. I, yeah. I will take their own uh, thesis, sir. Okay, thank you. And uh, the, some, one, another suggestion that you, you please try to correlate and maintain some of the consistency in uh, while you are writing means object is SOP, the numbers of point try to count it under the SOP statement of problems that must be equal to the objectives and that must be objective to the, your findings conclusions and you are you have inserted so many things I means that it's okay no problem because you have done a lot of things and you try to address everything in, under the conclusions you you can take some of the separate opportunity of writing those things but okay. if you would have done this yes so you to try to co correlate these three things because the readers and the means the uh, external leaders or some of the others uh, in the, this will uh, stay under as a, as a, as, a, as a document you know in the in the library or somewhere so you must uh, try to follow this okay this okay sir this protocol and another thing is very nice uh, because we are also learning many things uh, many things from your presentations also movie is still means facing lots of problem uh, regarding transportations uh, means gora gada 30 percent uh, porter means one and chas i percent are only only automobiles transportation or 28 percent is only available no it's yes, very yes, my god you mustang manang the you sim court carry theater you humla jumla mathi chadai tiyo yani yata dherai phalsa ki kya hota yaan yaan pani ajay pani apple 
कति कति ठाउँ में आज ही पुगे के सेना के बाटों नहीं सेना सर त्यां गांव पाली कारों में यो यो नगर पाली का ऐसा नगर पाली का भीतर नहीं गाड़ी चलते ना कि अली ठुलो पानी पर ही आ रहे होंगे जाने जाने ना गाड़ी बीसी रेशियो तो बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग था टू पॉइंट फाइव टू बीसी तो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स के कैलकुलेट करिए को सर त्यहाँ को सर अब मैं शुरू में मुगो जाने भी थे के अब त्यो ऑफिस पाटा फील इंस्पेक्शन में ये तो अली ली गई हो इन्हें सर देरी ठामा अंधे के तेवल में त्यो सैपलिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देखी लिया रा त्यहाँ और इंस्पेक्शन प्रोग्राम रोंड थे अन्य फील गई रहनी अन्य मौज जो इलेवन ही फील जाने वाला मैं फ इरिगेशन ना बाहर अब कती कुरा आ रहे होते हैं इरिगेशन को प्रॉब्लम अन्य और को कुरा मार्केटिंग होके देर ले अब बेस दिन ना खोजने अब प्राइस में ना पाऊंगी तो शोरी अन्य बाजार दो को माले रहा बाजार पुगाने बोर ने कती ना मार गाड़ी ना होने अन्य मार्केटिंग प्रॉब्लम बाहर रहा अन्य कती लेती के � वेरी नाइस थैंक यू सेविका दिलीप पूजा एकराज मनीषा विष्णु एंड गौरव फॉर रियली आई एप्रिशिएट यू फॉर बीइंग इन्वॉल्व इन दिस एकेडमिक एक्टिविटी दिस इज द फॉर अस वी आर डूइंग मींस एवरी ईयर बट फॉर यू इट्स इज द लास्ट एंड इट वाज द फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट एट द यूजी लेवल एंड यू पीपल हैव डन वेरी नाइसली एंड थैंक्स अ लॉट फॉर getting this opportunity uh, uh, means uh, dr maratha sir's students really i i, I got that okay and, sir to hazur lai ppt pathaune bhannu bhayo thyo haina am mera ppt tyo maile pathaidau mero mero ppt chai aru ko usma kasto khulle nai bhandai thye sathi har le 20 wta mero 40 wta slide cha 20 wta matrai khulle bhandai thye maile hazur lai pdf banayera pathauda huncha sir huncha huncha maile evaluation garna lai tyo mile tyo okay 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 sir in any form please you can send that okay sir thank you external sir थैंक यू ओ पी सिंह सर आई एम वेरी मच ग्लैड दैट द स्टूडेंट विल प्रेजेंट ड्यू टू माई एबसेंस बिकॉज आई एम आउट ऑफ द कंट्री फॉर द कंटिन्यूस फॉर अराउंड फाइव टू सिक्स मंथ्स एट दैट टाइम दे फील डिफिकल्टी हियर टू कॉन्टैक्ट द मेजर सुपरवाइजर फ्रॉम माई साइड आई ऑल्सो uh, very much askew from the student as well. Uh, then uh, please send the PowerPoint slide to the external evaluator, including your college, uh, including your uh, class roll number, uh, and also the exam roll number that is required uh, for the uh, evaluation. And also uh, you have to list the district and the commodity uh, of the uh, that uh, PMMP where you are uh, you already assigned and completed your work and um, uh, please uh, uh, try to improve the manuscript once because I think 25th of the Kathik will be the last date for the manuscript submission. Uh, then uh, uh, please send the word file of the whole manuscript in the uh, that format. Uh, then we will I will check and give you the comments in the uh, that uh, manuscript as well. Uh, please include the all suggestion and the uh, query which is put by the external examiner uh, uh, in the manuscript. And uh, thank you to all students, especially I am uh, grateful uh, to, uh, to the external evaluator. And those of the students, you follow the ma that uh, explore the message to the other uh, student, other student who are uh, are not giving the that uh, their presentation uh, in these uh, six uh, around five, five days due to the back paper examination. They will. Uh, um, they must give the uh, their presentation tomorrow uh, that uh, will start from the 7 a.m. I, I will put the notice in the uh, Lee site. Uh, uh, that, uh, okay, thank you to all students. Uh, the detailed notice will be uh, published in the uh, that Lee site. Thank you. Thank you to the external examiner. Okay.
Thank you, sir. Thank you. And happy Deepavali, prosper Deepavali, sir. And Ram Kumar, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Happy Deepavali. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you, Sandu sir and Obi sir. Yes, sir. And, and uh, I would like to express my uh, uh, huge congratulations to the presenters and happy Diwali and goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Ramgur sir. Same to you. Same to you.